Hey, Nimen Ha, Wush, Blender Lobota, Jintian Wushan Kan Nimen. Ah, Aya, Daisyang, Fansala. Okay, hey, Blender Bob here. <laughs> Hello, cat. Blender Bob here. This is part five. Oh, look at the size of my hands. Oh, huge hands. Okay, part five of this advanced tutorial on uh, modeling. I wasn't sure if I should publish this one because it's very similar to the previous one, but you know, new tricks, new stuff, and especially at the end, there's some cool uh, uh, bevel stuff that you might enjoy. So check it out, and it's short. So this is the part we're going to be dealing with. The amount of divisions on the inner circle don't match the ones with the outer circles, so this is something we'll need to fix. We'll need to figure out how we're going to connect these polygons here with the edges on the other side. We have these circular parts here on top of a flat surface, and we have interior corners here. Since it's perfectly symmetrical, bye bye! Like I've shown you previously, the first step is always to do a triangle to quads. Then we clean up all the coplanar surfaces. Now maybe you're thinking, well it's such a simple part, why don't you just remodel it from scratch, it's gonna be faster. Yeah, but that's not the goal of this tutorial. And maybe this part is already textured while the UVs unfolded, and if you are very careful, there's a way to fix all that stuff without screwing up the UVs. Well, of course you don't want to delete half of it if that's the case. Then we delete the extra edges, there's a bunch of them. Okay, in this case we're gonna do a different technique than what we did last time. Here the outer edges have more divisions than the inside, so what we're gonna do is to adapt the circle inside to the outside. So first I connect everything together. So edge loops here in the center and reconnect the points. And all you have to do is to select the edges here and do a circle that comes from loop tools. And we will do the same thing for all the circles inside and we're gonna get a clean geometry. Okay, I'm gonna split it right in the middle here and go all the way to the circle. You can press CTRL while you use the knife tool if you want to split directly in the center of the edge. And let's finish around the circle. On the sides I'm going to use edge loop to add two divisions. And for the edges I'm just going to use the subdivide edges and I'm going to set it to 3 instead of the default 2. Now last time I told you it was shift w, this is a remap I did on my keyboard so forget about it. It's not shift w, it's just subdivide edges. If you really want to do top-notch modeling, don't cut corners. Use all the tools that you have. Here you divide it in three, you get exactly three equal parts. And that's what you want to do. You want something clean. Don't eyeball it. Don't try to, you know, ah, I'm thinking it's going to be okay. That's not the way to go. So from there, I keep cutting and cutting and cutting and joining points until I get quads as much as possible everywhere. I'm connecting these points right now, but I don't like it, it doesn't look good, and I know I will have to redo it later, but for now I'm just trying to get something clean, you know, so I can continue. It's impossible to get everything right on the first try, because some parts are going to affect other parts of the geometry, so don't worry about it, just do it, play with it, and fix it as you go. Every time I model something like this, it's going to be a subdividable model, and that's kind of an industry let me try again. Every time I model something like this, it's all <laughs> yeah, man. Every time, <laughs> every time I model something like this, very technical parts, it's always going to be a subdividable model because this is the industry standard. If you work in the film industry, you want everything to be subdividable and everything needs to be also sculptable. I talked about this in my previous clips. One A to E. And this is why I'm removing edges here, because I know I don't need that many edges in the circles. It's just going to give me more trouble to connect everything together. So keep it light, keep it as simple as possible. I need to add more edges here if I want to be able to connect the circle, and that's going to screw up the bottom part that I fixed before. So I will have to fix it later. See, now I got extra edges at the bottom. Not good. Okay, so here it's getting tricky. So how am I going to do this so everything is a quad and I don't have any incited anywhere? So let's try some stuff and if it doesn't work, let's try again until we get it right. And here we go. All quads, no triangles, everything's nice, everything's clean. I just need to smooth it out and this I will do later at the end when I smooth everything. I told you I didn't like this part, now I'm going to fix it. So at this point I enter the cleaning stage, where I make sure that all the polygons are distributed evenly, I don't have any end guns, I don't have any extra triangles that I don't need, and I smooth some surfaces, like I'm doing right now. And after this, the only thing left will be to add the bevel modifier and the subdivision modifier. 
Of course, there may be some surprises that I will need to fix, but we'll see about that. Well, obviously, I need to do the mirror modifier first. Got some issues I will need to fix. Okay, here's an issue I have when I put the bevel modifier. If I adjust the angle to get rid of these bevels here inside the circles, I lose this one. So what can I do? Well, about a month ago, I told you that I would in this case do this manually, but there's another way to do it. I can use bevel weights. So now I put it to weight, and what you can do is select the edges, and you can decide per edges the weight that you want. If it's at zero, you're not gonna have any bevels on it. If it's at one, you're gonna get the maximum, and you can go in between also. So this is what I do. I select all the edges inside the circle, and I put the weight at zero. So you can see in wire mode, all the blue lines is where I'm gonna have bevels. Oh, I don't need them here, so I'll just select them and put the weight at zero. And here we go, we got a perfectly clean model, took about an hour and a half to clean, and I gave you the six minutes version. No, I got nothing.